Hello and welcome to Blendkit 2016 video tour for Practical English. This video will show one week of the course design from a learner's perspective and how the online and face-to-face -face content and activities blend together. We are starting with the Practical English schedule which was in the reflective statement under learning objectives. This video will look at week four. Each week the instructor meets the students two times and in week four it's focused on the skills of listening and speaking and the topics are from the textbook unit two which is about building design, architecture, and dream homes. So the week concludes with a group presentation in class. And the activities up to that point are helping develop the skills that they'll need to successfully participate in that activity. As you read in the reflective statement, this is a flipped classroom approach. So the students are expected to complete the online activities before they enter the face-to-face -face class. In the case of week four, before the first class, the students will complete the listening folder. And within that folder, there are two listening comprehension quizzes based on the listening tracks from the book, as well as a quiz to assess target vocabulary. Listening quiz looks like this. There are multiple choice and fill in the blank questions to test comprehension. And these kinds of questions are representative of the questions that are on the summative assessments. So the goal is to give the students opportunity to practice this kind of assessment. Each week there are two face-to-face -face classes. So week four, the first class is focused on the listening and the second class is focused on speaking. So in this first class, they will have completed the two listening quizzes and the vocabulary. And now they're gonna enter the class and we're gonna work through this content. In unit two. As you can see, unit two is focused on architecture and building design and dream homes. The goals for this class are to chat and warm up talking about housing choices and do a role play based on the two architects mentioned in the first listening. Finally, they'll finish with a dream house discussion with their group. So I just have them go through and chat in their groups about which they prefer. Uh, one is the <coughs> university dormitory, and the other is a studio apartment in front of the university. Which would they prefer, apartment or house, traditional or modern style? Then we go into the vocabulary. This was tested online. This is done through a crossword this week. They each have different words on their crossword and they are required to give the clues to their partner. So it forces them to try to describe the word in English. The next activity is a role play in the second listening. There were two architects mentioned and they have very different styles of how they design. So the students are asked to Imagine that they are the two architects and that they are meeting for the first time and they're going to discuss their different designs. So they have to draw from the listening and the content that was presented there and also use some of the vocabulary that they just reviewed through the game. Then they present their role plays in front of the class. After that, we look at some of the speaking test style questions that they will have in their midterm and final summative assessments. These questions are scrambled up and they have to put them in the correct order and then they will 
I walk around the room and mingle with their classmates and discuss. Finally, this begins to build on the group presentation that they will give later on Dream Homes, and it gets them thinking about that and talking about the different aspects of it, which goes back to the online discussion. The class is ended, and they are reminded to go online and complete that discussion. Now the students have completed their first face-to-face -face session, and they will go back online and complete the speaking folder, which this week only includes one activity, a dream home discussion. It looks like this. They are asked to view one video from a YouTube playlist called Offbeat Spaces. These videos show various types of living situations, houses that have been built by one person or a small unique living situation or design to try to get the students design ideas and open their minds about the possibilities for their dream home group presentation. So they summarize one of the videos and then offer their own opinions on what their dream house would look like. The second class, after they've done the discussion, they come back later that week and we look at some grammar and they use that grammar to describe the area in front of the university. And finally, they work on their group presentations for their dream home. This is the grammar, theirs and its pretty basic. This is from their book, so we go through this. Then they use these skills to try to describe and label a map of the area in front of the university. So they're going to talk about locations that they know. Now we're moving into the group presentation. This is the unit assignment from the book. First they look at these different designs similar to the discussion and they decide which one they like the most. Then they get together in their groups and they try to start designing their dream home, thinking about the location, the building type, the materials. And after about 10 or maybe 15 minutes, they volunteer and come to the front of the class and present their building design. This is higher level thinking builds on the vocabulary and the skills that they have been practicing online. Finally, we critically evaluate their presentations, their building designs, and decide which one we think is the best. So again, more higher level skills here. They have to defend their design and respond to their classmates' criticisms, critiques. Uh, finally, class is finished, and I remind them that they should be completing the reading folder for next week's class, which is looking at two reading articles in the book and some comprehension and vocabulary quizzes.